Step one: tie four battery cells together with fiber film to prevent loosening. The battery cell is 3.2 voltage, 202 ampere hour. Step two: connect four batteries in series with connecting pieces. Step three: install signal acquisition wires. Connect the wide end of the signal acquisition wires to the positive of the battery. Then the cables will collect the signal of the positive electrode of the battery. Step four: put the battery pack in the shell. There is shockproof cotton in the shell. We will fill the shell with the cotton to fix the battery pack. And the battery is placed close to one side, leaving some space for heat dissipation of the BMS. Step five: connect the other end of the acquisition wires to the BMS. Connect the blue wire to the negative pole of the battery and fix it with screws. Connect the red wire to the negative pole of the battery and fix it with screws. Step six: fix the BMS on the shell with soft adhesive type. Step seven. Connect the P minor to the BMS to the cathode of the shell. Connect the P plus of the BMS to the positive pole of the housing. Step eight: fix the signal acquisition wires with the screws. Step nine: connect the signal acquisition wires to the BMS. Step ten: connect the BMS monitor to the power supply, battery power supply. Connect the negative pole first, and then the positive pole, and the monitor will light up. Step eleven: Fix the BMS monitor to the shell. Step twelve: Arrange and fix the thread with plastic strips. Step thirteen: Fix the signal wire with screws with silica gel. Reason: To prevent wires from breaking in the process of transportation shrinking. Step 14: Put on the lip of the shell. Step 15: Charge test. Black wires, negative electrode. Red wires, positive. The total voltage, current, current, power, SOC, etc., will be displayed on the BMS display. Step 16: Agent test.